Metformin is a biguanide oral anti-diabetic agent, primarily used to treat type 2 diabetes mellitus. It improves glycemic control by reducing hepatic glucose production, decreasing intestinal absorption of glucose, and by enhancing insulin sensitivity. This will eventually lead to improved peripheral glucose uptake and utilization. In this video, we will talk about some clinical pearls regarding metformin. So let's get started. Number one, lactic acidosis. Metformin-associated lactic acidosis is a rare but serious complication, especially occur in patients with renal impairment or those at risk of hypoxia due to heart failure or severe infection. So, regular monitoring of renal function is essential, and the drug should be stopped in patients with conditions predisposing to hypoxia or dehydration. Number two, weight neutrality and cardiovascular benefits. Unlike other anti-diabetic agents, metformin is weight neutral and has been shown to provide cardiovascular benefits as well. These benefits include reducing the risk of myocardial infarction in patients with type 2 diabetes. Metformin is generally considered to be weight neutral or may cause mild weight loss, making it distinct from other diabetes medications that can lead to weight gain. Number 3. Gastrointestinal Side Effects Gastrointestinal side effects such as diarrhea, nausea, and abdominal discomfort are common with metformin, particularly when therapy is initiated or doses are increased. Starting with a low dose and gradually titrating up the dose can mitigate these effects. To reduce GI side effects, patients should be advised to take metformin with meals. Extended release formulations are also more tolerable for those who experience significant GI discomfort. Number four, vitamin B12 deficiency. Long-term use of metformin can reduce vitamin B12 absorption, potentially leading to deficiency. Therefore, periodic monitoring of vitamin B12 levels is recommended, especially in patients with anemia or peripheral neuropathy. Number five, PCOS and gestational diabetes. Metformin is also used off-label for improving insulin resistance in women with PCOS and to help manage associated symptoms like irregular menstruation and infertility. Metformin may also be used to manage gestational diabetes in certain cases, though insulin remains the preferred agent in many pregnant patients. Number six, renal impairment. Metformin is contraindicated in patients with an estimated glomerular filtration rate below 30 milliliters per minute. For patients with GFR rate between 30 to 45 milliliters per minute, initiation of metformin is not recommended and dose reduction is required for those patients who are already on metformin. In summary, metformin is a cornerstone in the management of type 2 diabetes owing to its efficacy, safety profile, and benefits beyond glycemic control, including cardiovascular protection. Its mechanism of action involves reducing hepatic glucose production and improving insulin sensitivity. Key considerations include its potential for GI side effects, risk of lactic acidosis, and impact on vitamin B12 levels. Careful monitoring of renal function is critical for safe use, especially in patients with predisposing conditions. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.